and welcome to this video and welcome back to my office even though this is more about the simulator than it is about the office uh, today we're actually going to be making something and as you know recently I've been flying uh, the helicopters a lot I've done a couple of videos and there's more to come on that uh, but I think it's time I built myself a cyclic and I've got this joystick which is a Freedom 2.4 it's a Wi-Fi Logitech joystick for function but I didn't want to chop that up to uh, to make a cyclic so I bought the USB attached version which is this one the Extreme 3D Pro and I'm going to turn this into a cyclic and keep all the controls at the top so uh, let's go have a look how we do that So the first thing I did was I went and got this uh, Logitech joystick. It's uh, X3D, but this, I guess, would work with any joystick. Uh, and I took the handle off. Okay. Now the shaft here is 16 millimeters uh, in diameter. And it has the cable uh, coming out the front of it. Now as I want to split the cable, uh, I, I don't want to cut anything. I'm going to get plugs, but I'm going to extend these ca this cable up to the top of uh, my cyclic, and therefore still have the uh, the controls that are on top of the, uh, the grip here. So it's um, these controls here. So they're still available at the top of the uh, cyclic. So with that being 16 millimeters, what I did was I went out and purchased this conduit and it's the, the only thing I could find on the day and uh, what it is is a 20 millimeter uh, inside diameter okay so I uh, what I did was I'll just zoom out a bit oh well, that's, I can't zoom in I just bent it with a heat gun okay so uh, there's a slot in there you can see and that goes over where the wires are like that. So it's nicely and the joystick goes on the floor like that okay so we now have our, our cyclic extended up and I've been flying it like that and it works works really well so the time's come to put the handle on it though and what I needed to do was uh, because I unfortunately bought this split conduit, uh, it's sort of gone a bit funny when I've turned, when I've heated it up and split it, but that's okay. I'm going to get some of that uh, grip tape from uh, bicycle handlebars, and I'm going to wrap that around it, so it'll make it look good. And I've now got this 20 millimeter inside diameter, and of course the joystick shaft is 16. So what I did was. I was rummaging around in the garage and I found something that I probably could have just used in, at the beginning. And this is a conduit, but it's 20 uh, millimetres um, outside diameter. So that fits nicely in there. So I've got a spacer there. That's good. So now we'll look at that. Okay. So now we still need to get that up. It's... it's uh, I'm not sure what that is internally, but anyway, I found this piece of dowel. This dowel is 16 millimeters, <laughs> and guess what? It fits perfectly inside that tube. And okay, so we're nearly there. <laughs> Seems like a roundabout way, doesn't it? So now I've got my 16 millimeter dowel and the uh, joystick fits perfectly on that so I have all the components I need uh, to convert my homemade cyclic extension to my Logitech joystick into place so I'm going to glue that all together now and we'll see what that looks like 
Right, so what I've done is I've got the two uh, different sizes of contour, one inside the other, and the bit of dowel. And I put some tape on it because uh, the tape happens to make it uh, the exact right size to fit that. So once I do the, the screws up on the handle, it's going to be the perfect size. So there you go. That in the joystick. I now have my uh, cyclic and if you're wondering why I put that that hook or the, the L shape or Z shape into it it's because of the seat so you might want to have it closer to your seat you need to be able to bring it back so that uh, the height and this portion here should be so that it's underneath uh, the seat that you're on um, so it's, it's basically it's like that so you can pull it back further so that's that. So I'm going to screw that together uh, and what I'm going to have to do now is go and work out the uh, the wiring, how to extend the wiring up, put it inside and bring it out. Oh, um, just so you know, I did drill a hole uh, through the centre of the dowel there. Okay, so we're back. So... Uh, I'm just going to leave the uh, this potentiometer hanging around here. I'm just wondering whether I might be able to use that uh, for a collective. So we have a, uh, a five pin plug and a two pin plug. So finally the wire's in. I've got this ribbon cable to do the extension part up the handle. And I've got these uh, five way plugs. Uh, two male two female of course you've got, you've got to buy bags of them i need two of those and uh these two-way ones so i'm going to extend the two-way cable and extend the uh the five-way cable up the handle so i've got to uh i've got to make those cables so i'll come back when that's done well, it turned out that even after very careful measurement, the plugs that I got were actually um, a bit smaller. So if you can see, the, <laughs> they turned out to be smaller. The measurements on the website said they were the larger plugs, but somewhere there some mix-up happened. So they're a bit smaller. So I've changed my method. What I've done is I've spliced in one of the newer cables uh, here into the cable. And I've created a small extension from the female of that new plug to the male of the existing plug. And so that's a little jumper. So this can run at this end all together. And the same with the, uh, the two-wire connector. This can run at this end uh, inside the uh, handle if uh, I want to convert it back to normal. And uh, what I'll do is now I'll, I'll remove this little jumper here and I'll create an extension for this cable uh, with a male and female that size on the end to run up the handle and then put this on the end of that cable and plug it into the uh, button uh, board. So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, just a, a tip. I've done... Uh, two cable sorry, and I've done the four cable but you've got to remember to put them through the center core right now before you put, uh, put on your heat shrink and then finally do the soldering don't do it in that order because otherwise if you solder them up without the heat shrink then you've got to cut them apart to put the heat shrink back on and if you don't put them through that that rod there both of them won't fit same time if you're trying to fit them afterwards right so now we're done we've got these two uh, two plugs coming out of here which will plug into the joystick grip up here I've got my little extension my little extension cables here that I made before I attached to that those two cables go through that uh, through that small bit of wood that I drilled the center in and they go down 
and then I've got two cables at that end which are going to plug into these two here. This uh, wiring of course is going to go through the center of the cyclic and I'll have my modified joystick. Okay, so I've got the uh, handle there on the uh, shaft and the cyclic and uh, all these wires are all done obviously and up through the handle. Uh, they are plugged on but you can see there that I, I did actually heat shrink uh, everything. Uh, so uh, it shouldn't, you know, shouldn't have any circuit problems and it does work. I've tested it. It all works fine. I'll leave this hanging out so I can turn it into a uh, collective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of uh, just a tiny bit of masking tape and just pop that in place there uh, just on the uh, front of the uh, cyclic and I'm going to uh, get some handlebar tape and uh, just uh, tape the whole thing up. So I'll bring it back uh, when I've done that and see what that looks like. All right, so I've got some blue painters tape just to uh, put this in place. I'll show you that in a sec. And then we'll be using this uh, uh, your performance. It's just handlebar tape from a racing bike. We'll be using that. Okay, so uh, just I'm not sure of the adhesive that's on that tape yet, so it could be quite sticky. So I actually don't want it adhering to any of the wires. So I'll put that blue painter's tape on there, and I'm going to leave this uh, little potentiometer here exposed. Uh, so now I'll uh, I'll wrap the whole thing in tape. We'll see how we go. Okay, well here we go, and there is my cyclic. I've uh, wrapped it up in this uh, stuff uh, tape. Uh, it's uh, racing bike handle tape. And that just basically um, hides the splits in the side of the, of the tubing and just makes it look uh, all around a bit neater, I think. So there we go. Got a nice uh, cyclic and all the controls work and uh, it's all neatly tied in there. So we're done. Right, so uh, the wife has been kind enough to make this uh, boot uh, to go around and cover up the uh, clamp on the uh, cyclic there. And that's just going to keep dust off. Uh, off the base because it's going to, going to be on the floor so it's just like a you know gear level uh, an automotive gear cover gear lever cover so there we go okay so this is basically how i use it very light touch the way it's configured just the same as a normal helicopter now because I don't have a collective on this side I, and I would normally fly right-handed like a normal helicopter pilot I have to fly the other way around I use the Bravo throttle quadrant so I just fly like this rudder pedals are very important right so yeah sit down just over here. Just gently on the controls, exactly the same as you would normally. Just like touches. As I say, your pedals are really the most important thing with a helicopter. All my controls work, it's in that side there. Um, I've got it on the rear, over the door, back inside, all controllable from that. So there you go. Right, so that's how I put it to use. Uh, hopefully in the future I can work out how to do a collective. 
uh, but for now uh, it works fine with my uh, honeycomb throttle quadrant that's configured the same as I use it for a 787 or 737 but your pedals are very important too in fact I think they're the most important part uh, so if you have any questions about this or any uh, any more information that you want please post comments down in the comment section and I hope you give it a shot to make one of these uh, cyclics and they really do make uh, heli flying a much more pleasurable experience I was using the crazy as it sounds I was using the yoke <laughs> before uh, and uh, I got quite good at it with that but uh, this is much easier and you're able to fly a lot smoother uh, so with that what I'd say is you will look after each other take care and be kind to one another and we'll see you on the next episode of tips and tricks